Hello everyone, welcome back. So children, today we will be solving lesson number 4 of your workbook that is environmental balance. So let's begin. Question number 1, fill in the blanks. Number 1, the variety we see in all the living things that belong to a particular area is called the dash of that place. Answer, biodiversity. Number 2, the surroundings and the conditions therein which affect the life of the organism is called an dash answer environment number three environmental science studies dash between living and non-living things answer interactions number four dash are the main support for every food chain answer plants fifth one for the existence of living things it is important that dash is maintained answer environmental balance question number two write whether the following statements are true or false number one microorganisms form a part of the environment answer true number two it is necessary to maintain biodiversity answer true number three a grasshopper eats birds answer false Number 4. Sunlight is an important factor for every environment. Answer. True. Fifth one. Scientists make observations about biodiversity for just one week. Answer. False. Sixth one. Plants use oxygen to prepare their food. Answer. True. Question number 3. Cross out the wrong word. Number 1. The living things that are seen in the field and near the water source are of the same or different type. We need to cross out same. Okay. Number 2. Air, water, soil and sunlight are living or non-living factors in the environment. We need to cross out living as it is non-living factors in the environment. Number 3. If all the sparrows from the surroundings disappear, then number of insects or owls will rise. So, the answer is insects and we need to cross out owls. Okay? See the fourth one. Plants release carbon dioxide or oxygen into the air. So, the answer is oxygen and we need to cross out the carbon dioxide. Okay? Fifth one. Plants or microorganisms decompose the dead and decaying materials in the environment. So the answer is microorganisms. And we need to cross out plants. Let's see the sixth one. Environmental balance should be maintained for the happiness or existence of the living things. The answer is existence and we need to cross out happiness. Okay, let's see question number 4. Name the following. Number 1. Factors in the environment. Answer. Living things, air, water, sunlight, soil. Number 2. The interactions among the living things in the environment. Answer. Food chain, food web. Number 3. The main support of all food chains. Answer. Plants. Number 4. The cycles in the environment. Answer. Water cycle, carbon dioxide, oxygen cycle, decomposition cycle carried out by microorganism. Now let's see question number 5. Answer the following questions. Number 1. What is a food chain? Give an example of it. Answer. One living thing is dependent on other living thing for the purpose of feeding. Therefore, they are interconnected with each other like a chain this relationship is called a food chain plants prepare food with the help of sunlight leaves of these plants are limbled by a caterpillar grasshoppers eat these caterpillars grasshoppers are eaten by sparrows this is a food chain sunlight plants caterpillar uh, grasshopper sparrow balance in the environment maintained Answer. In any environment, the food chains and food webs are present. Due to this, there are interactions among different types of living things. Living and non-living things give and take different materials in water cycle, carbon dioxide, oxygen cycle, etc. 
microorganisms bring about decomposition in the soil and add required substances in the soil. When all these cycles and interactions take place in an environment without any check, then there is balance in that environment. Let's see the third one. Who study the biodiversity in a particular area? How do they do this? Answer. Scientists make the observations about the biodiversity. They make these observations in different conditions in day and night and also in different seasons. They use special devices to make the observations of living things found at great depths or heights. They make large number of observations. For a long time, they keep on taking the observations and note down all the data. Question number 4. Why is it said that plants are the main support for all the types of food chain? Answer. Plants prepare their own food with the help of sunlight. For this process, they need water and minerals from the soil and carbon dioxide from the air. Many animals are dependent on plants for their food. Such herbivorous animals are eaten by carnivorous animals. Any food chain will not start without plants. Therefore, plants are said to be the main support for all types of food chains. Question number 5. How do microorganisms maintain the environmental balance? Answer. There are different types of microorganisms in the soil. They help the process of decomposition. Plant residues, dead animals, excreta and other such material is decomposed by them. This decomposition forms the substances which are useful for the plants for their growth. When the plants die, once again microorganisms release these useful substances back into the soil by decomposition. In this way, microorganisms maintain the environmental balance. Let's see the next one. Question number 6. What substances in the soil are useful for the growth of plants? Answer. Plants require water, minerals and other substances in the soil for their growth. The substances formed due to decomposition of dead and decaying plant and animals material are very useful for plants. These substances help in the rapid growth of plants. Open-ended questions. Number 1. We have to remove insects from the grain without using insecticides. Answer. Let the grain dry in the sunlight. The harsh sunlight does not allow eggs and caterpillars to grow in the grain. Keep dried neem leaves in the container in which the grains are stored. The neem acts as a repellent for insects. Grains like beans are smeared with mud. The mud particles keep the weevils away from infesting the grains. The place where grain is stored should be cool and dry. It should be airy. The chances of insect infestations are less in such storage places. Can you tell? Number 1. What is a deer's food? Answer. Deer is a herbivorous animal. It eats grass. In search of green grass, they move about in the jungles. It also feeds on leaves and smaller herbs and shrubs. Question number 2. What is the food of the tiger? Answer, tiger is a carnivorous animal. It feeds by hunting on small prey. Flesh of these animals is food for the tiger. Then we have activity. Use your brain power. Make up a food chain, frog, kite, snake, grass. So children, you can see this food chain and you can draw it in your workbook. So children, that's all for lesson number 4, Environmental Balance. So if you like the video, do subscribe the channel, like it and share it with your friends who need it. See you soon. Till then, goodbye.